I'm Ashley Mateo. I'm the news editor at Seventeen Magazine, and I featured Chelsea in one of our columns in the May 2012 issue. And I wanted to come out and feature her even more in depth online because I think her message is so important. But why don't you tell me a little bit about what inspired you to start the speeches? Right after my back surgery, I was just like, Dad, I want to Skype with my school. Like, Mom, Dad, I want to Skype with my school. And they were like, all right, why? And I was like, because I wanted them to see me like after one decision. What's the hardest question you've ever been asked? How do I stay so positive? Which... That was on my list. Really? <laughs> of course. You have such a positive outlook. It's impressive for somebody who's gone through what you've gone through. Honestly, like in the beginning, I did get depressed. I still get depressed sometimes, and I'm not, I'm not perfect. But what keeps me going is my family. It's like that saying, what is it? I know exactly you never know what you mean. how strong you are until being strong is the only option. Right. So I guess that's kind of like what I think about every day is like I don't have a choice. Tell oh me boy. a little bit about dating. What's that like for you? Oh my have God. you dated since the accident? It's 17. Come on, you have to tell us. Yeah. Um, yes, um, I've, I've dated since the accident. I've, I had a boyfriend. I liked him a lot, actually. I'm talking to someone right now. It's exciting. <laughs> And I really like him a lot. And so, last question. You know, we have 13 million readers at 17. And what would you tell them? What do you think the most important takeaway from your speeches are? I think just the most important thing would be to not take your life for granted and, and plan for after high school. Because I always lived in the moment, which is good, mm -hmm. but I never thought about the consequences that I made in high school would affect the rest of my life. That's so important. I feel like there's a hundred different ways adults can say that, but if the teenagers don't relate, they're not going to listen. And that's why I think it's so important what you're doing. They're actually going to listen to you because they probably see themselves in you. Well, thank you so much for meeting with me. It was really nice to meet you. It's nice to meet you too.